when working on a reward project, definitely the application is going to have user interactions. So, when the user interacts with the application, events are triggered. For example, mouse click, mouse hover, key press, and many more. So, Handling events with React elements is very similar to handling events with HTML DOM elements. But the difference is that React events are named using the comma case. So, for example, we are going to have on click instead of on click. And also, React event handlers are written inside the curly braces. All right. Let's practicalize it quickly. Open up the Explorer. Right within the components directory, we are going to create a new component. And this will be called click event handler.js. RFC to generate the functional component. So right here, we are going to define a function. Function click handler. Right within the function, we are going to console log. You click the action button. Right within the div, we are going to have the action button. All right. So the intention here is to teach you how the onclick event works. So right within the button, we are going to specify the onclick and then set it to a curly braces. So onclick of this button, we want to trigger this function. And then here, I'm just going to do click handler. So having done this, we have to render this component right in the app JS. Highlight, place a comment on this, and then we are going to have click event handler. Close it up with the soft closing tag. Save on the browser. Alt command I to open up the console. And now when we click on this button, the message would be logged into the console. Let's give it a try. Can you see? You clicked the action button. When you click again, the message would be logged twice. So that exactly is how to handle events in React.js. All right, so go back to the code and let's highlight the common mistake that we beginners make with event handling. So sometimes you may like to do something like this, you know, taking the parentheses. So when you include the parentheses, it becomes a function call. So let's see the behavior when you include the parentheses. First, I have to reload. Can you see? When you observe the console, you will realize that the message is logged in the console. So you do not need to click the button for this message to be logged. Can you see? Even if you click the button, nothing happens. You know why? When you specify the parentheses, it becomes a function call. So when you save the application and go back to the console, the function will be invoked immediately. Okay, and now let's try to take off the parentheses. Save on the browser. Now we have to refresh. Can you see? Nothing is logged on the console. And now you have to click on the action button in order to log the message on the console. Point to take note of. When handling events, you do not need to specify the parentheses. When you do this, it becomes a function call. Event handler is not a function call. All right, so it is just a function. Let's wipe it off. Save on the browser. Everything is working as expected.
To recap, Event Handler in React.js is written in Karma case, which implies you capitalized the first letter of every word except for the first word. And after that, you have to set it to a curly bracket. And right within the curly bracket, you just have to pass in the function. It's as simple as that. 